Hey coaches and welcome to my channel where I discuss the perfect play football system. The perfect play football system is a modern day spread offensive system that is the most explosive and creative spread offensive system being used at any level of football today. In today's video we're going to discuss who is responsible for the number three receiver in a trips formation to the field when he runs a vertical route. Please give the video a thumbs up and make comments down below and please bang that bell for those notifications. Here's my contact information. You can follow me on Twitter at Perfect Play Football, or you can email me at perfectplayfootball at gmail.com. And as always, Perfect Play Football is sponsored by Game Changer Fundraising, which provides the most low maintenance and high profit fundraiser used today. I used it for 15 out of my 18 years as a head football coach which is why I started this company, a fundraiser for coaches designed by coaches. Contact me if you're interested in learning more about Game Changer Fundraising and learn how to earn an extremely high profit with very little effort. The Perfect Play Football System will teach you how to become your own offensive expert so you no longer have to worry about chasing coaches online or at clinics only to learn how to get yourself in trouble I'll show you how to attack defenses and how to attack all of the defensive adjustments to your base plays. You will create your offense to score fast and score a lot of points. And your biggest problem will be that everyone will accuse you of running up the score. So let's get into today's topic. We're going to talk about how to attack defenses when we're going to put trips formation to the field and we're going to run that third receiver, the inside receiver, uh, on a vertical route. Now the example today will show you with all verticals and we're going to look at middle closed and middle open defenses. So first thing we're going to do is trips to the field and number three receiver on a vertical route. If they're in a middle closed shell, that's one high safety, then they cannot, the defense cannot cover the number three receiver on a vertical route. If the defense is in a middle open shell, a two high safety look, then the jack, who is that boundary safety, cannot be a run support player and cover number three on a vertical route. And the jack has to do both of those, and we'll show you how that happens. So we're going to look at number three vertically versus a middle closed defensive shell. So we, in a previous video, I talked about attacking trips formation with a low hole player into the boundary. And so this today, we're going to talk about vertical routes. So how to attack more vertically instead of just over here to the trips. So we've got the ball will be on the left hash. We'd put trips to the right, trips to the field, single receiver into the boundary. Middle closed, one safety. We got four verticals. And you can see here, number three receiver running a vertical route. And who is responsible for that? If this outside linebacker is playing and trying to run back here and play a vertical route by number three, which rarely that happens, but I have seen it happen, then you should attack with runs and passes into this boundary with him running a vertical route. Just change X's route and change your blocking to be some type of run into the boundary. If the free safety, if the, if the low hole player stays here for the run support and the free safety has to play between these two routes in a middle closed shell, then obviously this is the throw that's going to be made. If the free safety jumps the inside route, then you can throw over the top. All right, that's middle close. Let's look at middle open. Trips to the field, single receiver into the boundary. The jack is the boundary safety. And what we're telling, forcing the jack to do is we're running a gap scheme into the boundary, which the jack has to be the run support defender. If he drops down, then the defense is at a plus one situation. We cannot block the jack when he drops down. He should drop down and make the tackle on the play. But the problem is he also is responsible to cover number three receiver on a vertical route. So we put the Y vertical route, and if the jack stays soft, stays high to cover number three on a vertical route, then there's no one left. They don't have the low hole defender. There's no one left here to be that extra defender. We can block everyone at the line of scrimmage. I prefer running gap schemes into the boundary in this look. Then uh, we get everyone blocked up and we have the F as a free runner uh, attacking the boundary side of the offense, attacking the boundary side of this coverage because the jack is playing high. If that jack drops down, we can't block him up on the run game, then we want to try to throw the ball 
to number three on a vertical route. So it's pretty much it's that simple. How to attack these defenses middle open and middle closed. That concludes today's video. In summary, we dealt with the question of who is responsible for the number three receiver and out of a trips formation to the field when that number three receiver runs a vertical route. We discussed this situation in a middle open shell, two high safeties, as well as a middle closed shell, which is a one high safety, and how to attack each one of those in terms of pass and run. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up and make comments down below and bang that bell for those notifications. And as always, score fast, score often, and never apologize.